art book. Yo. We're going in deep and we're going in hard. Oh my god, are you gonna- you wanna oogle with me? Punisher's on here? Cause that was the- the first Capcom game, technically. Oh, dude, there's the Punisher sprite, man. I remember when this book came out. I haven't- I haven't seen it in a very long time. Furry! Wiry! Um, wait a minute. Is that in the service Wrath book? Shit, I need to buy that. Oh, the artwork on all of the crazy uh, character cards that were in the extra mode. So many Capcom characters that we would have loved. Yosuke, Lady, Leon Kennedy, well there you go. Mega Man. Daredevil, Dazzler, Destroyer. Uh, Doc Ock was supposed to be a character in this game and was heavily hinted at from Marvel Infinite. Now that's not happening. Oh no, it was Green Goblin. It was Green Goblin that threw the things at Spider-Man in Marvel Infinite. That's what it was. I got confused. Hulkbuster armor, Iceman, Juggernaut, Kingpin. No thanks. Uh, Loki would have been interesting in these games. I don't know how. Loki would have been really interesting, actually. Uh, summonable characters. Secret special playable characters. Bone Claw Wolverine. Oh man, they go over all the characters and all the sprites. Shit. Oh, how weird that they use this costume for Rogue. I don't think that's her default costume. At least for X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Uh... Damn. Look how many damn characters have been in these games, chat. So many. I almost- dude, I wish they made Apocalypse playable at some point. I mean, outside of him being the giant- like, this version of Apocalypse and not the giant- the giant dickhead version. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I've never seen this before. This was that stuff they used for the, uh... Like, the animatic at the beginning. I can tell Long... Oh, this is Joe's artwork. I thought this was Long Vo. This is, a uh, This is, like, Udon stuff for something else. Oh! This is for Marvel 2! That's what it was. This is Marvel 2 artwork. I was getting all confused. I was like, the hell? Yeah, this is when Marvel 2 was, uh, HD-ified. Original damn cable sprites. He puts the gun in his mouth? I never noticed that shit. Cable sticks the gun in his mouth? Huh. Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah, Mero is a really interesting looking character. Unfortunately, when you play her, like, nothing works. It's super weird. And you thought, you think they would have realized, like, why is, why can't she do anything that anybody else can? Why does nothing work? Uh, oh man, they're making the Jill sprite. Jill and her beef punch. Cactus man. I miss Amingo. I really do. I don't think he could save Marvel Infinite, though. I think that'd be a big question, but like, what the fuck? Early concept art. Yeah, I am... I'm really glad they went with Fat Cactus Man. I do not like these other... It looks too alien. It looks too weird and too alien-like. Oh, original Ruby designs? Ah. Uh, that, well, that, that looks like a Star Gladiator character to the bottom left. Huh. Ooh, look at this shit. I wish I could zoom in more. It needs to be higher resolution. Henchman. Cute. <gasps> Mega Man! Murgamer! Yeah, I love Mega Man Sprite in Marvel 1. I really do. Uh, I think he's actually got one of the best, uh, the best Mega Man sprite there is, like, sprite artwork is probably the one from Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Unfortunately, it never made it into a Mega Man game. Um, technical redesign of Captain Commando, sorta. Onslaught, I am a god! <laughs> you better hurry up, the deadline is just around the corner, that's cute. Just kill me now! <laughs> what it's like working on video games, Jaru. This is what it's actually like. <laughs> That's how they felt. Oh, dude, concepts for Venom? Fuck. 
I'm actually I'm actually really surprised that they they took Venom and they went even further beyond with his 3D model. Like nobody nobody thought Venom was gonna look nearly as good as he did from the game because Venom is one of the coolest, craziest looking 2D sprite characters in fighting games. He's ridiculous. He just transforms everywhere, and it's like they're not gonna they're gonna have to tone him down at some point because Marvel Infinite characters can't be that expensive. And then he came out, it's like what the fuck, dude? Venom looks ridiculous. Why does he sound weird? <laughs> um, had to be something, but uh, yeah, somehow they made Venom way better. Like, way better. Mm, cool concepts for Jin. Morgan, sex poses. Uh, Dan? Huh? Oh, the Dan sprite is from what they used on uh, Marvel, uh, X -Men, Marvel Super Marvel Street Fighter. Nasty Eye, thank you for the five, dude. Uh... Do, do, do. Hey, Spider-Man. Oh, his push-blocking animations. Gotcha. Birdie! Clean up this mess! Yeah, Birdie! Wait, 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 I was, I was, I was oogling that. I'm on a break, bust. Sabertooth anecdotes. Sabertooth's weapons are his fangs and claws. When you can think claws, you can think Wolverine. He was very careful with Sabertooth's attacks. I did not want them to be too similar to Wolverine's. Well, he did a good job. Seems like Hulkarine. Like he's he's Wolverine and the Hulk kind of mashed together. Birdie, clean up this mess. Um, whoa, look at these cute fucking wow. Coat and stick were a pain in the ass. Next time I want a simpler character. <laughs> uh, I love it. I I think your next character has a cape. We should have put in more thought into the default pose. Um. We were staying overnight at the office to get work done, and a few of us went out to buy food. On our way back, I noticed one building had an awful lot of lights left on, despite the fact that it was the middle of the night. Turns out it was our building, that is all. <laughs> They're like, what? what? It was so late, they were so jaded. Because they were working so late on sprites for Marvel 1. Uh, that's pretty funny. These stories are awesome, I never actually read this shit, I just looked at the pictures and kept going. Cammy was the first female character I worked on. Uh, I worked on Juggernaut before, so switching to Cammy was enough to make my nose bleed. Oh, so they went all super peevy with her. I think this game has the most female characters of any Capcom game ever. No wonder everyone loves it, because they're all fucking cool and they can all beat your ass. Uh, except maybe Puzzle Fighter. Has Capcom finally awakened to the age of girl games? Well, no wonder everyone liked fucking X-Men vs. Street Fighter chat room. Just look at the female, look at the female roster in this game, it's badass! I mean, big! Uh... Cool. Very cool. Oh god, they're designing Rogue. They're designing Rogue's hips! Uh, be careful with the way her clavicle bones, breasts, and neck connect to one another. Deform the shoulder. Yep, artwork. Make sure to define the shape well, we don't want it looking two-dimensional. Make it look cool! These guys knew what was up. These guys knew, these guys knew what was, was ups. Uh... There is some weird... Look at this, look at this weird shit they got done from the Rogue team. Uh... I got married while working on this game, I rarely got four hours of sleep at night. I'm surprised I didn't die. I always feel like going on a trip at the beginning of a project. Like, seriously, if I was going to have a boyfriend, I'd want someone like, wh Who the fuck? What is going on? What am I talking about? From the rogue team. It must have been from one character team to another. Look how cool. Look at all this time they spent on rogue. It shows, man. She's badass in this game. Big hair 90s anime girl? Not really anime. Very, very little of it was anime. Uh, ooh, artwork from Marvel superheroes. Sorry, Chad, if you're expecting high-level gameplay, um, this is about as high-level as it's gonna get. It's not gonna get any better than this. It's just gonna be me being very upset about playing this game online, because it runs so bad. Uh, early concept designs for Storm, wow. This is like Marvel superheroes shit. Or X-Men Children of the Atom, technically. Yeah, this is very early. Order to sales gambit. Oh god, they had fun. Look at look at all this fun they had. Look at all this funny funness they had. 
Ain't no fair, you're only allowed two people. Just us, but there's two of us. Wow. Look at, look at the weird sex dungeon juggernaut. What the fuck is that? Um, Little Blanca. Is this where Ono got his idea? Super Hadouken. I got left out again. There's always next time. Chun-Li consoled me, but I thought for sure this time, because uh, Dalsum made it into the game. Hyper Berserker Claw. More, this guy's more animal than me. Jimmy sad. <laughs> I guess I'll go make a campfire. Oh my god, they're referencing the stage in Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Because Blanca is in the background with Beast in that game, and he's just like, Hur. he's just sitting there with him. <laughs> they're talking about how Blanca got left out again. That's really funny. That's really funny. <laughs> um... <laughs> Chup, ch ch uh, uh, Cap chucking a shield at Dan. A dog takes it and brings it back. I should have never adopted you. <laughs> That's, uh, these, are, these are making me... You know, it's making me laugh because it seems like they had fun making this shit. It seems like it was a tiring, painstaking process, but it seems like they legitimately enjoyed making these horseshit video games. And you could feel that through the game. You really can. I should never have adopted you. Hey, there's this artwork. I got a t-shirt made of this. This is really cool. Strider, they, they gave Strider sunglasses. Uh, I love it. I love it. An idea from Tariko. Thank you, dude. Can this be a monthly thing where you just appreciate and commentate Capcom art from art books? I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm actually really enjoying myself right now. Because, God, this is, this is the stuff about Marvel vs. Capcom that I actually like the most is, uh... The artwork and Strider's badass sunglasses. They made him look like Quick Man because Quick Man's the best man. Of course. The weird Captain Commando uh, Venom toy that didn't exist and they made because they could. Because they just wanted to do some cool shit. Look at all these four kids. Everyone loves them. Whoa, jump to Marvel 3. Jump straight to Marvel 3. Hey, dust to dry. Thank you, dude. Yeah, there's the huge character page at the end of the trailer. Whoa, is this from- oh, that's from the first, uh, the- the cinematic vanilla trailers. It's funny. These are just- these are just stills from- from video. Oh my god! Uh, ending artwork from Marvel 2. Uh, Marvel Appreciation Stream! Love going through the art book. Your passion for the series makes my night- hey, thank you. Uh... I really like these games. Look at all these cool dudes over here and shit. Wait a minute, what the hell? They swap them out for Psylocke and Jill? Of course Sakura would want to take selfies with Spider-Man, that makes sense. Venom and Strider? <gasps> did I, did I make that canon team? That's my team in Marvel Infinite. Did I inadvertently do a thing with a thing? Fucking Eddie's all getting buddy-buddy with Hear You? Oh, that's some weird shit. That's some weird shit. Look at these brooding boys in the middle. How funny. Venom, don't lick me. <laughs> Venom, don't lick me. I've always liked slightly younger looking Magneto. I don't know why. I never did like that. I'm an old voice Magneto. Like, I didn't, was never a big fan. I like, uh, kind of gruff, like, early 50s Magneto. Instead of, instead of, like, late 60s Magneto. Hey, Frankie Sack, thanks, man. They should make this into an art book or break it down as a comic. Well, this is an art book. You can actually buy the art of Marvel vs. Capcom from Udon, and that's what this is. Um, it's a great book, and I highly recommend it. Ah, uh, Ryu and, Ryu and uh, Psych getting the handshake on again. That iconic piece of art. Wow! What the hell are these? Did they somehow dig up concept art for Marvel 2? Whoa! I have never seen that before. I've never seen concept art. No, I think they, uh, yeah, this was, this was for the re-release. This was for the, uh, the comic book-ish re-release they had on Marvel 2 back in 2008. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't, like, I don't know I've seen this before. Um, yeah, this is the Marvel 2 re-release. They made, uh, arcade sticks with this art, actually. They made a Marvel 2 arcade stick from Mad Cats back in the day. Mega Man looks a little funny. But, uh, everyone else looks really cool. Yeah, Insane Hulk! 
Iron Man looking hella robotic in that pose, wow. Yeah, there it is. There's that artwork. Is that Joe Mad? No, that's the same dude, Joe Virens. Yo, I... This was t-shirt artwork. I actually have this t-shirt from X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I wore it out to uh, Infinity War when this when this thing came out. Uh, yeah, this is a cool, this is a cool shirt. I'm lucky I found it. It was unopened when I found it. Oh my god, Marvel 2 art. So sick. So good. Look at this shot. This shot is so Marvel vs. Capcom, it's insane. Like, it's like the Marvel characters and the Capcom characters love, love having each other around. It's like they're having a great fucking time. Like, hey, we get the band back together type of shit. I didn't feel that in Infinite at all. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't feel that in, in the new game at all. And that was, that was a big mark that they missed. It wasn't a celebration anymore. It was just, it was just another game that they had to make. They are so lucky the gameplay is sick in MVCI. They are so lucky. Um... Because that's what the MVC series always felt like. It felt like we're getting the band back together. Hmm. Psylocke artwork, that Jubilee art. Because uh, she was only an assist character in Marvel 1. Uh, extras and sketches. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Marvel 3. Yeah, we just actually took a look at these. Which is great artwork. They're not showing vanilla Marvel 3 stuff, which is kind of funny. This is actually Ultimate. There's vanilla. I was about to say, yeah, the vanilla artwork is different. Uh, and it's still really good. Yeah, not bad. That's a cool shot of Dante as well. Practice. <laughs> Get on! Never thought War Machine was cool. I always thought Iron Man was better. Yeah, one of the weirdest decisions in the series history. Let's bring back Wolverine, who has largely been one of the best characters in all the Versus games leading up to this. Let's put two versions of Wolverine in. The only difference is that he's got bone claws on one. And let's make them both trash. Let's make them both real bad. That was a very weird decision to Marvel too. I'm not too sure what they were thinking. There's an obvious nerfening that happened. <laughs> I never noticed that was the Morgan pose. Uh, Thirsty Tripod, thank you. Ooh, that's a badass saber wolf. Or, I'm sorry, saber tooth pose. Okay. Jin just going, yeah! <laughs> Get high, motherfucker! <laughs> I, uh, I never paid attention to that's what Jin's action pose is in the game. It looks so funny. It looks like they just whipped it out. I gotta get it done! <laughs> they just whipped it out. Uh, how funny. Well, Jill's looks really cool. Hey, Nico, thank you, dude. Yeah! Psylocke and Rogue and... Mero was a cool character that just played so bad. She was so awkward. She looked so cool. Same thing with Hayato, like, new character. Really cool looking, but just hella awkward to play. Nothing seems to work well, do any damage. And you got this motherfucker down here on the bottom right, just running a train on everybody. And this guy up here, and then Chun-Li was relegated to being relative trash in Marvel 2 as well. Kami was always really good. Kami was a lot of fun in MVC 2. I would love, oh man, it would have been so sick to have Kami back in a versus game. I mean, if Capcom ever eventually does, you know, make their own Capcom All-Stars fighting game, Cammy feels like one of the best characters for that. Cool pose, Gambit. Yeah, I miss Cyclops too. You know, even though he's a basic-ass, basic bitch. Uh, look at that! I love this! The the complete comparative differences between her character art, which is the, the persona she gives off, between how she actually is, which is this murderous psychopath. Yeah, BB Hood is one of the, uh, one of the best. I love her. Creepy girl. Cable. Uh, Marvel 1 art! Oh, man. And this is the pinnacle of art in the Marvel vs. Capcom series, because it's simple. Uh, and that's what I like about it the most. It's focused and it's simple. 
And that's what's really cool about it. I love these shots of Mega Man. They gave Roll all this artwork and they made a they made her an extra skin too. Chat room, I remember drawing these in high school. Uh, I do. I remember drawing them and trying to like get them to look as cool as possible in in high school. Kind of crazy thinking of it now. I'd color pencil the whole thing and make it look identical to this artwork and then try drawing it on my own, then it looked like trash. Because I didn't have a style. Uh, yeah, man. They, they made Strider a badass character, and he wasn't nearly this cool in the old games. He really wasn't. Like, he was not... He was not this cool in the old games. Uh... I don't think this Venom artwork is actually amazing. I think Venom in the game actually looks a lot better than some of this. Very, uh, War Machine-esque. Jin and his crazy Scream Lord art. I love that victory screen pose of him with the, uh, the salute. I think that's sick. Man, I really wish that... If there is a future of Capcom, like, All-Stars or, like, a Capcom fighting game, but just all Capcom characters, they do this, like, character artwork that represents, like, half their face, and then your team is composed of the faces, like, melding together, and it fades to white, and then it's the versus screen. Like, that is... You want to talk about UI decisions? That was one of the best UI decisions, was that it was half your character, and when you teamed up in Marvel 1, your character's face and the other side of the character's face would merge, and it's like they became one, and they get to fight as one. It was just a really cool mechanic that they... I'm sorry, a visual mechanic that they threw in to make the team aspect feel more impactful. Um, super sick. A lot of really good ideas in this game. Capcom! Chun-Ri. I love- I love this art of Chun. This one right here, the victory screen art. It's fantastic. That's Chun-Li. That is Chun-Li. I don't- you don't think of Chun like- I don't- I don't specifically think of Chun-Li, like, kicking you in the face, or sitting behind my- I think of Chun-Li and her fucking Yata bullshit at the end of a match. Even though she should be saying Shay Shay. Uh, great cat pose. Gambit looks fucking sick. Fucking look how cool this bitch is. God. Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter, great art as well. Really, really heavy outlines. Make the characters pop. Contrasting colors, it looks dope. Everything is the looking down at the characters. Uh, shit, man. How creepy Shuma looks. Yeah, this shot of Akuma is fucking awesome. Oh, I'm so mad! I'm so weird! Yeah, oh, this is the, this is the dopest shot of Cyclops, man. I'm not a huge fan of Black Hearts, I think it's okay. Is, is Cap pointing, or is he like... Yeah, he is. It's just a- it's just a perspective. He's, like, pointing forward. Omega Red with his creepy hentai claws. I love you, Omega Red. You're so sick. Love it. Uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. It's weird we're going, like, backwards. I wonder if we're gonna actually run into Children of the Atom stuff. Yeah, this was X-Men VSF. The weirdest thing is to go back and think that Bison and Dalzim were in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Like, what the hell? You notice how every character in this game is kind of like stubby, like the way their their legs are. They're like they're like, they're more like their forms are more hunched in and not as much elongated. It was an interesting style choice. Their heads are really big. Their hands are really big in all this artwork. You can really see it on Akuma here, and Cami. Like Cami almost looks like tiny. Yeah, their heads are huge. If you actually look at the size of their head in comparison, curious, very curious. Because it's mostly the same artist that did this stuff, from what I understand. Uh... Oh man, back to the Punisher. Shit. You know what I realized? I'm probably pressing... Uh... I think I'm going backwards through this book and not forwards, so I'm like... Technically taking it in the wrong direction. Oh, I love this artwork. This was the Japanese cover to, uh... Marvel Ultimate. Doesn't look like that. It looks like a scan, almost. I never noticed all the details on Wolverine's boots and shit. Huh. 
Yeah, this is great. This is vanilla. I think this was a Japanese vanilla cover. And I, I did actually like these renders a little bit more than some of the uh, American artists they got. I don't think their artwork is specifically bad, but I don't- I did not like the vanilla cover for Marvel 3. I thought it was a little... Where is it? Uh, where is it? This one was really cool. This was the special edition. This was the one that I bought. But the regular cover for Vanilla Marvel 3 was kind of odd. Let's see if I can find it. Who drew this? Huh. Oh wow, this is sick, dude. Mihamori. I think I actually got a poster. That person's art. Oh, this is Bangus, all right. Oh yeah, you can tell. Yeah, what a cool piece. Look how crazy feral Amaterasu looks in the bottom left, though. Um, everyone's screaming and intense. That's what it takes. You notice how a lot of the character artwork of of UMVC, uh, or I'm sorry, Marvel Infinite, the characters are all like. They're just, like, looking forward intently, while all the really cool artwork has the characters getting into that shit. Ah! They're all screaming and shit. They're happy about being there. It was one of the reasons why MVCI's artwork didn't really pop. None of the characters seem like they're into it. This one wasn't even a cover. This was just, like, I think a throwback to MVC1. Yeah, this is, this is sick. I think I still have a poster of this. And this one. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I have forgotten about this piece. Wow. What a cool piece of artwork, dude. Wow. It almost looks like it was, like, hand-colored, hand-inked. That is really dope. That's Murata, yeah, it is. Yusuke Murata, yeah. Shit. That's the One Punch Man artist? Oh, no wonder, dude. The perspective is insane. Uh, I love it. I love it, that is dope. Look how badass Doom looks in the background. Yo, Mega Man Z, thank you. This one, I like this one a lot too. The origin of Cyber Akuma pose. Um, uh, Feasible Boy, let me check that out. Yeah, it definitely could be. Could be an old, uh, robot reference. Absolutely. This one's really cool. Yeah, Mihomori style is, uh, fits the game very well. And this was one of the, one of the reversible covers for... MVCI. Oops. Uh, and yeah, I... Not a... I think Phoenix, like, like, it's like, it's like he's forced to draw, like, anime-style looking characters, and it just didn't come out super well. Um, not a huge... Yeah, that's the alternate box. Yeah, this was the American, North, Am the North American box art cover, and... I'm not- I'm not gonna rag on, like, American- the American artists, it's just- it's very... different. It is... very different. It's like they're trying to go for a more cinematic look, you know? Hmm. Uh, I have this poster, it's right over there. I love it. I love it. It's it's almost a reference back to Marvel 1 with the characters all in a circle looking down. Yeah, this is a great... Shinkiro is, gets better and better and better every single year. I don't know how Shinkiro isn't doing lead art on a Capcom fighting game again. I think I think he did some on the... maybe Street Fighter V, but... I don't know. It's very odd. Because his artwork in this game was so sick, dude. Look how cool this shit is. He's come a long way from drawing Clooney faces. Very long way. Did, he did most of the artwork for uh, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom as well. That's some of that shit is very similar. Very similar. Wow, dude, he did so many posters. Sweet Jesus, there's a lot of character poster artwork here. Like, it just keeps going. 
had this poster a long time ago. There's this one. Yeah. Yeah. We saw these earlier. Ah, uh, Marvel. The funny thing is that this was the Marvel 2 box art, and um, this was the main Marvel vs. Capcom 2 artwork, and I'm actually not a fan of it. Like, I don't think it's a bad piece of art by any means, but I do not think it's eye-catching. Like, something about the way it's presented is just very mishmashy, and I get lost, and... I don't know where my eye wants to go. Yeah, there's just something about the way this looks. I didn't even notice Ruby was right there. It's very, it's very weird. It's kind of, it's kind of cluttered. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's a great piece of, uh, box art to catch your eye. But that's largely what was used on the, um, Japanese version of the game. Yeah, this piece is cool. I never saw this until way later. Because it was never on the arcade version or the console version. Yeah, so specifically promotional art. Um, great shot, right? Really cool shot. It's got all the assist characters in there, too. And the most iconic Marvel vs. Capcom artwork. This is replicated and memed to no end. Like, this is Marvel vs. Capcom. You think of Marvel vs. Capcom, you think of this piece of artwork. It's perfect. It's, it, 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 it's fucking... it's perfect. And yeah, it doesn't have any characters being super intense or anything, but... The way it's framed... Memes, Jack. I know. And it's funny, it's the... It's the opposite of what I was saying before, but this wasn't like the, the cover art for MVC. This was like just promotional main illustration. And... Yeah. How oh, cool. They, they, they shove in so many characters who even roll is in the bottom right. And... I love this one too, I do have a poster for this. Uh, I got the Japanese Sega Saturn poster for... Marvel Super Heroes v Street Fighter, and it's it's this artwork. It looks... I love the use of lines, like the American 90s comic book look, because they were so line-heavy. Like, a lot of line shading. Um... So he tries to emulate that in all of this. Yeah, Bengus... For, for however many people might have gripes with Street Fighter V's artwork, Bengus... Bangus. Bangus be Bangus. He's very, very fucking good, man. And this was mostly styled after, you know, the way Jim Lee uh, drew the X-Men back in the day. Oh, this is so cool. You know what we're not gonna see? Oh! Um, we're not gonna see the handshake of Ryu and, uh, and Cyclops, which is another, like, the second most iconic image from the whole series. This is... Yeah, Joe Mad. This was early Joe Mad, like, mid-90s Joe Madarera, right when he was, like, first starting his career. This guy's artwork style would go on to influence and, ins like, directly inspire so many people, so many artists, like, Whenever I see people, uh, drawing characters and stuff, I'm like, Oh, this guy drew up, grew up with Joe Mad. This guy drew up, grew up with Todd McFarlane. This guy grew up with Jim Lee. Like, he, there's, there's incredibly influential comic book artists that get, like, a huge fan base. And Joe Mad's style is, like, so many people, when I see their drawings, I'm like, Oh, this guy draws like Joe Mad. I gotcha. Um... Yeah, very, very, very... Very influential in terms of just the comic book scene back in the 90s. Cool looking, really cool looking print, man. God damn. This is the cover for, yeah, Marvel Super Heroes on Saturn and uh, PlayStation. Yeah, early promotional artwork for MSH. Akiman, this is the guy that mostly drew Street Fighter, like Street Fighter 2 back in the day, chat. So this is, uh, interesting choices. I am, I am privileged and so goddamn lucky to have this poster. Uh, I got it a few years back, like two or two or three years ago. I was I've been searching for a uh, Japanese arcade poster for X Men: Children of the Atom, and that's what this is. Like I cannot believe I have it. Uh, it's framed right outside this room in my hallway. I love this artwork so much. This this is X Men: Children of the Atom. Yeah, it's so sick. Oh my god, this is so... This is so, like, 90s, 80s looking... Oh, man. Old Nick Fury and Punisher? Dude. This is super cool. 
This game was really sick. I played this game with Matt McMuscles, and I never had played it before, and I'm like, that's a Capcom game? And I'm like, oh yeah, this this a Capcom game. Holy shit. Uh, this game is awesome. It's a beat-em-up, and anybody wants to try it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chamba drew this? Nice. Damn, Ghost Rider looks nuts! Uh... <laughs> I kind of love this piece. This is really cool. Oh, Roboto did the colors on this. Nice. Follow him on Twitter. The Strider getting fucked up. <laughs> Strider and Ryu getting... Man, like the Capcom guys are... Oh, no, no, no. Rocket Raccoon, Iron Fist, and Amaterasu are fucking up a Hulk, Strider, and Ryu team. Well, that makes sense. I don't think they would work very well together. <laughs> That's a cool picture. I remember this piece. Yeah, this is cool. Genzo Man, for sure. This, this style is super apparent. I don't know about this one, chat. I don't know about this one. Oh, shit! Oh, thank god I didn't lose my spot. Fuck. I got, I got worried there for a sec. Um, this is cool. I like the suave-ass looking Dante. Oh, this one's really fucking cool, too. Whoa, oh, it's like, um, it's like newspaper print style. Man, Wolverine is buff as fuck! <laughs> Look, it's super buff. Strider looks really cool. I like it. Man, they got so many artists to do, like, just a ridiculous amount of artwork for this game. It's so cool. It's like it was a big, the band is coming back celebration, you know? That's what I love about it. Wow. Wow, what a cool piece of artwork, man. Why was Shenko scuba diving? Or snorkeling? What a cool piece of artwork. Phoenix stuff in her face. <laughs> Looking embarrassed about it. Who drew this? Oh, this is Roboto! I was about to say, this looks very familiar. Uh, I think Roboto, his style even got better now. Uh... This is cool, man. It's like this game was a celebration of the characters, their history, and the art they came from. It's actually really heartwarming to look at this stuff. Oh, this is that... Oh, Adam Warren. Yeah, I had a friend that was obsessed with Adam Warren. Uh, loved his artwork. Bojack, if you're in here. Is this eulogy Marvel vs. Capcom? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, is Marvel Infinite dead? 99% yes, but I just kind of saw this and I started taking a look and I like this shit. It's because, I mean, I, I've been I've been playing dead fighting games on this channel for like seven years, so just because, just because a fighting game isn't being updated anymore doesn't mean I'm gonna stop playing it or stop enjoying it and loving it. Uh, this is super sick, man. I wish they- I wish they colored this. Fuck. Wow! Wow, dude! Dude, he does really good hands. Like, his hands are- his hands have so much character. Yeah, this is a great piece of artwork. I think he did this for the book. There you go. I went backwards on accident. I did absolutely go backwards, but, uh, yeah, that was the Marvel vs. Capcom official complete works. Pretty dope, dude. Pretty dope.